gentlemen, welcome to the reclaimed ceremony at the West Bank Cenotaph. We're all gathered here today on this Remembrance Day to honor our veterans who served Canada during World War I, World War II, the Korean conflict, and those who are now serving in Afghanistan. We'll also be paying our respects to those men and women who valiantly and unselfishly paid the supreme sacrifice for our country in order that we can experience the freedoms that we often take for granted here today. If you would all join us in uh, singing O oh, Canada. Canada. condemn as the going down of the sun and in the morning we shall remember them. We'd like to now welcome Pastor Wayne Atkinson. When I was asked to say a few words I was thinking about one of the most important parts of Remembrance Day that has been carried on in tradition. In a, in a little while you'll hear the words of in Flanders Field and so with my little talk I've looked at two parts. The first part reminds us that we are here to remember. But the second part of in Flanders Fields gives us an idea of how we are to remember. It says, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be it yours to hold it high. A reminder that we are called to carry out the work so many have fought for, have died for, and continue to fight for. So I thought I would look and see what the military were doing as they picked up the torch. So I picked up the large document that they have of uh, the policy changes in the military, and I want to read just a few thoughts from it. Um, a chaplain from Montreal said her unit included Asians, African, South American, and Eastern European members, including Muslims, Christians, Jews, Sikhs, and those of no religion. The military are beginning to see us all as one family. In 2003, the first Muslim chap chaplain was inaugurated into the um, regular forces, and in 2007, a reservist Orthodox Jewish rabbi joined. In uh, 2006, uh, the chapel at Canadian Forces bases in Halifax was expanded to include a multi-faith worship area. Uh, Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Christian, Unitarian, Aboriginal, Baha'i traditions were participated in dedication service. So throughout all of our military, there is work being done to remind us that we are all one family. We are all people of principle of faith. So how are you and I to be involved? Well, one of the things I found is called the golden rule. Uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You know that every major religious organization, humanist organization, atheist organization has something similar to that. Um, hurt not others with that which pains yourself from the Buddhist. 
Um, a true devotee of God is one who identifies with others' suffering as one's own. Hinduism. Islam says, no one is a believer until his love for his brother is what he loves for himself. Um, Judaism, what is hurtful to yourself, do not do to your fellow man. The atheist, uh, the humanist model um, principle is do no harm. If we begin to see ourselves as one family of one people with principle, and that principle is to love one another, is to care for other people, people the way we would like to be cared for, I think we would really begin to lift up and honor the call that that torch has been passed to us. And so I think that's a message for us, to begin to be more open and accepting of people who are different, people who are there, and to care for them. And I think that's a message that the military has picked, Canadian military has picked up and is putting into policy, and that we too, as people of Canada, people of the world, are called to do as well. The golden rule, a principle all people can realize we are called to participate in. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow, between the cross crosses row and row. The mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. Scars heard amid the guns below, we are dead, the short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the crow, to you from Italy, hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. It is my honor to lay this wreath on behalf of Comrade William Hewlett. Sheila Kennedy on behalf of the Historic West Bank Association. I'm going to lay this poppy for my father, Saskatchewan Light Infantry, Fred Spooner. This puppy for my granddad, Sam Henry Shuttleworth. This puppy is for my father, <coughs> Squadron Leader Sidney Taylor, who served in the Royal Air Force. If there are no further wreaths uh, and poppies, I call on the Reverend Atkinson to uh, offer a closing prayer. For some, it's a moment of silence and meditation. For others, it's called a prayer. So let us join. For some, we pray to God. For others, it's to a principle, but in the end, it's to love, and it's a prayer for peace. It's a prayer that we might do unto others as they would do unto us. We remember those who fought in wars and who died, so that peace might be found in the world. We remember people and places around the world that are still trapped in the cycle of war and violence. From the depth of humanity's being, we pray for the peace that might be known by all. Please touch all people in all nations with love and harmony in a way that there may be peace on earth and goodwill toward all. We ask this in the name of a God, many different names, or a principle of love, so that we might reach out in action so that we might carry the torch that has been thrown to us, so that we might find peace on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, a long time tradition here to leave your poppy behind at the Cenotaph or attach it to a wreath in honor of those who served our country. Uh, and if anyone would like to observe that, the Cenotaph is to my right. We'd also like to request that anyone who is in attendance today who has been uh, a member of the service uh, in any capacity, uh, join us at the uh, front of the cenotaph so our friend Keith can get a picture in memory of today. And if you will do that, we would be appreciated. Thank you for your attendance.